Hi everyone, Connor here from Team Block Demon, and today I'd like to show you how to get started staking your AVAX tokens live on the Avalanche blockchain. By following along with this guide, you can get up and running with staking your tokens as soon as possible. So without further ado, let's jump into the staking journey. So before we begin the staking journey, it's important to note that the minimum token requirement for staking on Avalanche is 25 AVAX tokens. So make sure you have access to at least that amount of tokens to start with. Our goal with these tokens is to delegate in order to earn staking rewards. A delegator is a token holder who wants to participate in staking, but chooses to trust an existing validating node through delegation. To begin, access your wallet using wallet.avax.network. Next, select Access Wallet. Here, select how you want to access your wallet that has your AVAX tokens in it. We recommend to use a ledger if you are self-custodying your funds. Once on the wallet dashboard, you'll need to make sure that your funds are on the platform chain, also known as the P-Chain for short. The platform chain, or P-Chain, forms one of the three base chains of the Avalanche network. The first is the X-Chain. The X-Chain allows for creating and trading digital assets, such as the AVAX token itself. Transaction fees on this blockchain are paid in AVAX. Next, there's the P-Chain. The P-Chain manages the metadata of the Avalanche network. This allows users to create their own blockchains and subnets. Finally, the C-Chain. The C-Chain is an instance of the Ethereum virtual machine, which allows users to create smart contracts. In order to begin staking, you'll need to make sure your funds are on the P-Chain. Because my funds are on the X-Chain, I'll click on the cross-chain button in the sidebar to transfer my tokens from the X-Chain to the P-Chain. The next step is to delegate our stake to a node operator on the Avalanche blockchain. To do this, click on the Earn button on the left-hand side of the screen. Here, you'll need to enter the node ID of the validator node you'd like to delegate to. I'd like to delegate all of my AVAX tokens to Blockdemon, so I'll copy Blockdemon's node ID and paste it into the search bar to find Blockdemon's validator. If you'd also like to stake to Blockdemon's validator, we'll have this node ID listed in the description of this video so that you can seamlessly copy and paste Blockdemon's node ID into the search bar to follow along. It should be noted, however, that each validator on Avalanche has a cap on the total amount of delegations they can accept at any given time. Blockdemon's node is no exception to this rule. To double check that there is capacity for Blockdemon to accept your stake, you can easily copy Blockdemon's node ID into avascan.info and scroll down to the delegation section. Here, you'll see if Blockdemon has capacity, and because it does, we're ready to go. Now that we know we can stake to Blockdemon's node, let's return to the Avalanche wallet. Here, we can select the stake amount and staking end date. Unlike other proof-of-stake networks, Avalanche does not use slashing. Instead, all stake is returned when the staking period expires. That means that your entire staked amount, plus rewards, will need to be restaked once the staking period is over. The minimum time for delegation is two weeks. And because I'm recording this on the 12th of May, I'll choose to delegate until the end of May. So on the calendar screen, I'll select May 31st, and I'll also choose to delegate my entire stake. After that date, the delegation will cease and you will have to manually re-delegate to Blockdemon. It's important to note also that once you issue the transaction to delegate to Blockdemon's validator, there is no way to change the parameters. For example, you can't remove your stake early or change the stake amount, node ID or reward address. Once we're happy with all the details on the screen, we'll next click Submit to confirm the delegation choice on the Avalanche blockchain. We can see that our delegation transaction was sent successfully and our tokens are now locked for staking. On our dashboard, we can now see that 25 AVAX tokens are now staking successfully on the blockchain. If we fast forward a few weeks, we can check back in with our AVAX tokens to see how our rewards are looking. On our Avalanche wallet dashboard, we can see a clear timeline of our transactions. We received our AVAX tokens on the 12th of May, transferred these to the P-Chain and then staked them on this date. Then on the 31st of May, we received 0.1 AVAX tokens in staking rewards, equivalent to about $2.82. Remember, this was the date we chose as our staking end date. This shows us that our staking was successful, we've earned rewards, and now we are free to redelegate to Block Demon if we choose. So there you have it. That is how you get set up staking your AVAX tokens live on the Avalanche blockchain. 
I hope that by following along with this guide, you can get up and running with staking your AVAX tokens as soon as possible. But if you have any questions about the staking process or any of the other blockchains that we support, please feel free to reach out to us directly or visit blockdemon.com. But until next time, I hope you have a great day and take care.